The day two of the America's Cup was always going to be a big one here in Auckland. With both teams won a piece after the opening day, it was a chance for one of these teams to break free and go to an outright lead. So the forecast was for light winds ahead of race one. Light winds we all thought was going to be advantage Luna Rossa and they delivered in the first race. They had a great start and really gave Team New Zealand absolutely no chances in that race. It looks like their tacking efficiency is stronger, particularly in the lighter winds. They used their high mode really powerfully to try and muscle the other boat around and they had a relatively easy wind in the end to go 2-1 up. So at this point the defenders were down 2-1 in front of their home crowd. Plenty of people out on the water watching today's racing. Would have been in a bit of shock. But Pete Burling, he didn't show any weakness at all. He bounced back really strong in the second race. Having a really nice start tight to Lewin, forcing Luna Rossa to tack off early. And from there he used the boat speed. He, he got the boat going quick. He tacked on Luna Rossa when he had the opportunities to and sailed cleanly ahead. Luna Rossa made one small error with a bad jibe, looked like a late board drop took the pressure off Emirates Team New Zealand and from there they went from strength to strength to have a very comfortable lead. So Emirates Team New Zealand take race four and tie the series at two all. So tomorrow is Saturday and Auckland moves into level one. That means all the race courses are available to the race committee. Hopefully we get onto the stadium course, course C. Course C is a great course for all the spectators so make sure you come out and watch the racing. It's also a fascinating race course bit more shifty, the current plays a little bit more to it, and we'll see a bit more exciting racing. Hopefully we'll see some lead changes. Make sure you come and join us tomorrow. <laughs>